Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome down to the next video in the Swing Quest series. Now in these videos I'm taking lessons that I've had down at the Quest Golf Academy, explaining through the changes that we make and how that can benefit you in your own game if you are struggling from similar issues. If you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button and also comment below. Let me know what you think about everything that you see in this video and if it will help you or if you think there's something else that other people can benefit from. And today we're going to be looking at Ollie. Now Ollie was a first time lesson down at the academy today and he was suffering from a very very specific problem. Namely a ball fly that curved too much in the air from right to left. That was also coupled with a bit of an iffy strike, mostly heavy and slightly off the toe. And what the launch monitors were showing that Ollie was swinging from in to out, so he was swinging to the right of target line, but his club face was too close to that path and close to target, which was causing the ball to hook too much in the air and pretty consistently finish left. Now, if you wanna hit a draw, you need to move the club from the inside to the out in relation to target line, but that club face needs to be closed to path but yet remain open to target. And Ollie's club face was close to both. So that gave us something to look at straight away. Why was that club face too closed? And whenever that happens, the first places to look are grip and then wrist angle. Now what you can see from Ollie's swing is that he took it away slightly on the inside of the hands, not massively, but we'll get back to this point shortly. And then as he got up to the top of his swing, the club face started to rotate into a closed position. Then as he started to move down, he shallowed the club in behind himself and then rotated really hard and really well into the ball. A lot of these moves are very good, but that club face, because it was closed, what he was also having to do through impact is start to tilt his spine angle away from target and that was compromising his strike. So rather than being able to stay over that ball with his weight on his left side, he had to pivot back at the last minute and that was dropping that club further behind him and causing that heavy strike. So we got Ollie doing a number of different things. We first of all changed his grip on his right hand and his left hand. His left hand was just the way he was holding it in his fingers, so we changed that slightly so he could set his wrist better. We also brought his right hand a little bit more on top of the club to get that V pointing up more towards the center of chest as he was just dropping a little bit underneath the handle at times. And then we started to work on why that club face was rotating close at the top of the swing. And what we soon found is that about halfway back during the backswing, Ollie just couldn't quite set his wrist correctly to get that club face in a more neutral position. So that's when we started doing some very specific drills. So you can see here in this drill, what we got Ollie doing is taking the club to about halfway back during the backswing, getting his hands pretty much in front of his chest when viewed from behind the line, so from down the line here. And then what we got him doing was setting his left wrist and his left arm so they were nice and flat and got him checking in the mirror behind the hitting mat to actually see if the club face was square and it was lined up to the back of the left wrist and the back of the left arm. Now as a result of that, the takeaway felt like it was a little bit more up on the outside even though you'll see in a moment when we actually start to swing, it wasn't. But by doing this drill, it really got him the sensation of where he needed to be. We then moved that drill on a little bit further. So we got him to do these little practice swings to halfway, check it in the mirror, and then actually go on to hit the shot. Now, this isn't a drill to use if you're expecting to strike the ball fantastically well. But what it allowed Ollie to do was get the sensation of what it would be like to move into impact with a more neutral face. And then we finally got on to giving him a bit of a routine and what he's gonna be doing in practice and during play as well, where he had a couple of practice swings just trying to mimic that same feeling and then he just got straight onto the ball, the same type of feeling in the takeaway, same type of wrist set, and then you can see the difference here, top of the swing, but also in the takeaway, wasn't as looped down on the inside, and he was able to get that club just a little bit more out in front of him, whilst maintaining a slight shallow on the way down. It really was a fantastic transformation. And the transformation in the ball fly was fantastic. So we started to see him move still right to left in the air, but nowhere near as much. It was so much more neutral than what it had been. So such a simple drill, changing the grip, getting that set halfway back, just making sure that everything's lined up, using that halfway stop and hit drill, and then trying to incorporate that 
into a pre-shot routine. So Ollie, fantastic, fantastic work today. Really happy with how you progressed. Keep up today with how you're getting on. And guys, please comment below. Let me know what you think of all these improvements and what would that do to your game if it was implemented. But thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Follow me on my other social media as well, which is all linked in the description below. And like I said, comment, like, and give us some feedback. All right, guys, thank you so much. And we'll see you next time.